Now it's time to make the snow to go into the After Effects file to actually animate the snowy scene. So in order to do that, we have already calculated from the previous uh, tutorial. We know that the width of the document is going to be 640 pixels and the height of the document was 457 pixels. So now it's time to create a document that is going to be the snow that will be approximately twice the height of the destination document. So I'm going to do it at a thousand pixels and uh, it's going to be the same width because I'm not going to move this horizontally. I'm just going to move it vertically and uh, so therefore it's going to be 640. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do File, New, in Photoshop of course. I'm going to title this one Snow, so I know that's what it is, 640 by 1000 resolution 72 pixels per inch because it should never be any higher than that if you're going to be going screen and that's what we're doing and then uh, I'm going to tell it to be um, actually white is good enough for the contents and I'm gonna say okay and you should end up with a document that looks something like this and if it is white to begin with like it is in this image if you want to make that into black then all you have to do is command I or control I on a PC and what that does is it will inverse the colors now note the difference it's not select inverse because we're not doing a selection here select inverse is control shift I or command shift I and that will select the inverse of a current selection that you have so if you have a bird selected it will select the opposite command I is inverse which just means to do a negative image of what you have and the opposite of white is obviously black so that's the easiest way if you've got a white document to fill it with black do command I then uh, what we need to do is we need to lay down some uh, snow on this particular image so to do that you want to go to filter noise add noise and within the add noise dialog box you want to put an amount and that amount is up to you however dense you want your snow to be I'm going to do about oh I don't know 18 percent it is extremely important that you choose Gaussian and that you choose monochromatic if you do not choose Gaussian then you will have a pattern in your snow and that doesn't exactly look natural and monochromatic if you don't make sure that box is checked then you will end up with multicolored snow and it just looks like noise so that's probably not what you want once you get those settings the way you want click OK and you should end up with an image that looks very similar to what you're seeing here and it's just going to be black and notice I did this all in one one layer um, it's going to be black with some gray specks. This, if you've done my um, Starfield, the planet tutorials, and you got to the point where you were making the Starfield in the background, you'll recognize this. It's basically exactly the same technique as that. All right, the next thing we need to do is to create um, individual flakes. And uh, right now, this just looks like static. This is also, by the way, if you want to make static on a TV screen or something, same difference. All right. Now we are going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And we are going to play around with our level settings because we want to bring up the white, and that is by clicking on the white triangle and slide it over toward the black bars that you see and now take the black and move it in 
a little bit. And then if you want to do any fine adjustments in between, that is just the middle slider, which is called the gamma slider in case you care about that. And then get this however it looks good to you. And you only need to take this in one time into After Effects because you can take multiple copies of the same layer and do different things with them. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to let my computer catch up with me. And once you've done that, go ahead and do File, Save As. Put this where you are putting all of your files that you're going to bring into After Effects. I'm going to call this snow.psd, which I did in the beginning. And I'm going to hit Save. And then we will, in the next tutorial, we will bring this into After Effects and uh, we will begin to uh, composite together our snowy scene.